Hello everybody, welcome to another video of RC Forge Productions. I want to give a model um, update. Um, I got a nice a painting to go case uh, for Christmas uh, this year. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these, but um, they are made of wood. Uh, they're put together um, by hand, I believe, and it comes with all these uh, trays uh, for paints, storage, and um, things like that, and also comes with uh, holding your models. Um, and I have yet to, I've been using different methods of trying to hold things on there, like a sticky tack or putty or just like a little bit of hot glue will hold them in place or even pinning them on, but it just does not seem to work for me. Um, but these are made out of wood as well, and I think they're pretty cool just figuring out a way to try to rig them up. But also you see here is a variety of different models. Um, I got my hands on a some 3D printers uh, here that were uh, generously given to me by a uh, friend and uh, client, and uh, I've been having loads of fun with them. Um, these models we see here were printed on these those mini uh, printers over there, and it's from Loot uh, Studios. I think their sculpts are amazing. They're, and their prints are already pre-supported, and they're also unsupported as well, and you can do your own supports, and they're also solid or hollow for bigger models, as you can see here. But just give the amount of detail on these models is, I think, incredible. And I'm actually a big Games Workshop fan. If you've seen some of my other videos, I have, I've been in GW and uh, Citadel Miniatures for a very long time, um, ever since I explored miniatures and got better at painting and things like that. I've always kind of been to that. Not so much of the gaming aspect, but more of the uh, collective and just collecting as much as I can, just models that I really like. But I have to say, I think Loot Studios here, uh, applause to them. I think they're actually better than GW. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I, I think that Games Workshop would probably make a killing if they also had 3D prints that people could print and sell, but I know they are, you know, all in plastic and they're set in their, their ways of selling their products, which is fine. But I think given the age of 3D printers now and you can doing pretty much anything from home and printing them yourselves, you know, and I know there's copyright issues and things like that. I mean, I think they would still sell really well if some models were released that you could print on your own. But yeah, Loot Studios is very cool. I've been into all them and all their, the art design is amazing. I just really enjoy all their stuff. And this is just a small fraction of what, of what they have on there. And they they sell monthly packages. And if you're new, a new subscriber, you'll uh, get um, a tavern uh, package, which has some, the main characters and heroes like this guy here is from the original tavern, tavern package. The very cool um, artistic style that these guys have. They also have busts too. Here's a dragon, dragon bust. And they have other busts of the characters and things like that. Yeah, it's not focusing. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just want to give you an update and a uh, few projects I'm working on here as I'm always working on something. Um, you can also get them in 75 millimeter or which is the big ones here or 32 millimeter. I think 32 millimeter is just a little bit too small for my taste. I mean, obviously the 75 milliliter, uh, millimeter is a lot bigger and get a lot more detail. And I mean, but I mean the same detail goes for the small ones as well, but I think they're just tad bit too small to really get much more painting detail out of them and things like that. And I have my German still working over here. This guy's, this guy I think is pretty much done. My other World War II dioramas, as you saw in my previous. But yeah, that's coming along. Anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching.